I'm Bob Rank from the class of 1982, and I'm the president and CEO of Orbis International. Orbis is a global nonprofit that transforms lives through the treatment and prevention of blindness. And one of the tools we use to treat and prevent blindness is the world's only flying eye hospital. This MD-10 aircraft flies around the world, sets up in a matter of hours as a full teaching surgical suite with a classroom of 46 seats on board, and it can broadcast surgical lessons to the internet or to classrooms on the airplane and at the partner hospitals around the world. Orbis was founded in the late 70s when a, a renowned ophthalmologist named Dr. David Payton uh, came back from travels overseas and realized that there was a big education gap between ophthalmologists and eye surgeons overseas and the standards here in the U.S. And the best way to get them training was to take the training to them. It was too expensive to put them on airplanes, bring them here, house them, and try to get them, get them training in the U.S. So put at a hospital on an airplane and take the training to them. We're entering the Alcon classroom. Uh, this is a 46 seat classroom that was donated by the Alcon Corporation. Everything we do on the airplane and most of what we do at Orbis is as a teaching hospital. So the classroom is where the trainees will sit and surgery is broadcast from the operating theater. So the surgeon is operating, narrating, and answering questions all at the same time. The patient exam and laser treatment room, it can be set up in a variety of ways. In this room, you can be set up to do slit lamp exams, uh, retinal exams, and then on that end of the room, you can string up a lead curtain, you can do laser treatment for glaucoma and for retina diseases. This room can also be set up as a simulation center where you can teach on artificial eyes, virtual reality simulation for diagnostics of the retina, uh, a simulator for varying degrees of difficulty of cataract surgery, uh, and artificial eyes where you can do strabismus surgery. Typically on a, on a surgical day in the airplane, we'll do anywhere from four to eight surgeries, uh, depending on the complexity. The technology to support eye surgery, particularly microscopic eye surgery, has really come a long way since we started. And our corporate partners like Alcon and Zeiss have done a fabulous job of keeping us up to speed. Uh, Alcon in particular donating state-of-the-art retina and cornea machines uh, to do state-of-the-art surgery on board the airplane. And the reason they're state-of-the-art is because the airplane is designed to state-of-the-art hospital standards. The machinery is all state-of-the-art, and you can teach a, a, a trainee state-of-the-art on the airplane, and then the trainer and the trainees will go back to the trainee's normal hospital and teach them state of the hospital. The last thing we would ever want them to say is, I could treat that if the airplane was here. Teach them how to do the same thing without the automation, without the sophistication and still be able to handle complications. The level of skill and, and, uh, and teaching knowledge of our volunteer faculty is really impressive. As a teach Amanda Fish kind of organization that's out to make a long-term difference, we realized in the late 90s that we would be better off, the people would be better off served if we opened permanent country offices in several countries. Those permanent offices have a staff that is coordinating training for partner hospitals. They're supported by the Ministry of Health, by the government infrastructure and the lo local ophthalmology society. And they're there to find what causes of blindness are causing the most trouble so we can bring in the exact expertise it takes to do the most good. The Orbis nursing staff typically has three or four nurse trainees that are following them around and they're teaching them uh, the fundamentals, the fundamentals of patient care, infection prevention, uh, and, and process for helping a uh, patient get ready for surgery and recover from surgery. We also spend quite a bit of time helping parents and children understand the drops in the post-op care that has to happen before they ever leave the airport. Uh, we'll train in how to properly run a hospital. We'll train in how to run patient flow and infection control and, and give advice on ways to improve surgical outcomes. If you can get people to care because they need care, not get them in to be seen in case they need care, then you can make the whole system more efficient and serve more people. The 18 pilots who uh, alternate moving this airplane from program to program are all volunteers from FedEx. They donate their time to come out and, and fire up the airplane and do all the flight planning and all the mission planning it takes to get it from one place to another and get it set up in hospital mode. The volunteer faculty that works on the airplane is a cadre of about 400 uh, nurses, biomedical technicians, anesthesiologists, and surgeons uh, from 30 countries 
who volunteer their time to build relationships and teach doctors uh, in low to middle income countries and improve their eye care systems. We also have an award-winning telemedicine platform called CyberSight. And then we have CyberSight Consult, where a doctor in a developing country can uh, take a difficult case that he's looking at, upload the clinical data and patient data on CyberSight, and get expertise and advice from around the world and get more information to help them do a more accurate uh, case review. In our programs in a given year, we may hit, uh, I think in 2018, we hit 27 countries. On CyberSight, we've hit 165 countries. We have people logging in on CyberSight to learn from Syria, from Iraq, from Afghanistan, uh, where you could never take the airplane and where you know, putting people into, into conflict zones is a difficult thing to do or a high-risk thing to do. Those docs can still reach out to us to learn. When we applied for pilot training as cadets, uh, my eyesight wasn't good enough to be a pilot and I had to earn a pilot waiver for my eyesight. Uh, I've been fighting uh, vision issues my entire professional life. And so being able to help people who have had similar fights was something that was really inspiring to me. This has been the most rewarding job I've ever had. The transformative effect of a 20 minute surgery that restores somebody's vision is something that will grab you by the heart and never let go. It's, it's an experience that, uh, that will stay with me forever.